In this video, I'm going to show you how to engrave and color fill a custom QR code on your laser. Making a QR code for you or your customers out of wood can create a statement for a business, yet very simple to do. First, you'll need a QR code that directs customers to a website. You can have that done professionally, or you can find a free QR code generator online. Now turn your QR image into a vector using software such as Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. I prefer using a light wood like maple or Baltic birch. Here, I'll be using 8 inch Baltic birch for this one. You'll want to do two deep passes on your laser. I use the following setting for my Epilogue Mini. DPI of 400, a power of 100, and a speed of 60. Once done, prep your wood by doing a light sand to remove the berm. Then apply two coats of shellac to seal the grains and prevent the paint from bleeding. Make sure the shellac gets into the engravings. It's best if you can let this dry overnight if possible to set. Now grab some cheap acrylic paint, a short bristle brush, wet paper towels, and some water. In small sections, really work the paint into the engraving. I prefer to use cheap acrylic paint because the water content is higher and it has less pigment, thus it's less likely to stain your wood. Now use a wet paper towel to wipe off the surface. I must confess that I didn't have time to let the shellac set overnight and I got a little nervous that the paint was going to stain on the wood, but I kept going with it just to see how it was going to turn out. I've added two other videos that go more into depth on the color filling process in the description below. Once done, you can touch up the areas that you might have missed or accidentally wiped out of the engraving area. The paint must be 100% dry before you sand it, otherwise the dust is going to stick to that paint. Now, sand the surface clean. If you didn't seal the wood well enough or let the shellac dry, then you might see some paint bleeding into the grains. Some of this will be a trial and error process for you, but it goes pretty fast. Use an air compressor or any other way to blast air or vacuum to clean out the dust. You might want to seal the wood with an outdoor rated finish if this is going to be for craft fairs or left outside. I'll be doing a live color filling demo and a Q&A in the near future so be sure to subscribe to get the notifications. We'll see you next time.